Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Road to Supersonic Legend in Ones. We are playing 1v1 and we made it to Plat 1 Div 3. So we have now entered the region of the Grand Plats. Most popular and also the worst rank in Rocket League, the Platinums. It's uh, pretty, I'm pretty scared for these next few games because the Plats are very, very unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do. And sometimes it just might work. So if yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. So we're going up against Aimbot. Hopefully he doesn't have an actual Aimbot. Last episode, we had one guy that was trying fast kickoffs. And because of that, he conceded like, like three or four goals just from that. All right, let's see what this guy does. All right, pretty de uh, decent defense. It's kind of like a tongue twister. Decent defense. Decent defense, decent defense, defense. De de oh, shit. All right, aimbot. Let's see your aimbot, please. Come on, let's see it. Give me, a, give me something good. All right, never mind. All right, I'm gonna just go up for an air shot. See if he can save it. Oh, it was a good try by aimbot. Looks like he doesn't have the defensive aimbot. Um, so I'm just gonna do a normal kickoff again. Flip into it. Oh, he almost won, but I can cut him off. So that's something about your kickoffs you should do. Uh, it's like right after the flip, you really want to be using your air roll so that you can land on your wheels um, like right after your, you flip into the kickoff. Because if you don't land on your wheels, then you can't like save the ball or you can't interrupt it if it goes in his favor or if you lose the kickoff. So yeah, like after the flip, you just want to use your air roll a lot. So you can actually um, land on your wheels. All right, this is an easy goal because he gave me so much. He gave me so much space. So let's just take a look at this space. Like if the ball is bouncing like that, it's so much easier to score based off of a power shot instead of like a dribble on top of your car. So yeah, that's something you sh you should definitely do if you're in plat. You know what? That'll be the theory I test out in today's episode. All right, that one was that was a little weird. I probably should have just hit it out instead of letting it roll up. Um, but yeah, let me let me test out this theory. Actually, let me show you the the kickoff air roll. So right here, as I flip into it, I'm using my air roll to make sure I land on my wheels. That way, I can follow up the ball quickly or defend. You know, if he wins the kickoff. Um, but yeah, let me show you some power shots now. So I'm gonna go into the goal here. All right, let me set up a little bounce for myself. I can tap it off the wall. If he attacks, I'll just go back. It was a little risky, so I just went back. Okay, he's also going back. <laughs> that was pretty funny. We we're just both kind of like fake challenging. All right, so a little bounce like this. If you can get good at hitting side swipes off of a bounce like that, look at that. Like, there's no way he's saving that. It's so simple. Complete fundamentals of Rocket League. If you can learn it, it's unstoppable. Even, even as plats, like, learn air dribbles. Even as they learn, like, advanced techniques. Nothing's gonna beat a strong power shot. You're gonna, you see it in esports. You see it at the top of the... Like at the very top level of Rocket League. Yeah, I accidentally I uh, forgot to not do that. Um, but yeah, even even pros. Like even pros are gonna be using fast power shots because it's effective at every single rank. Alright, let me try to show it to you again. Alright, he's gonna attack there, so I can't go for it. You always gotta be watching your opponent because if they're attacking. Uh, or if you don't have space to go for a power shot, then you obviously don't want to do it. Like right here. Yeah, right here, he didn't let me do a power shot, so I just turned back. It's important not to commit to it if you're going to get beat. But like that, I'm going to turn back. Right here, I have an opportunity. And boom. Power shot. That's it. Look at that. The easiest forfeit of my life. 
all from strong power shots. It's that simple. That's all you need to do. And we divved up to Div 4. The next game, actually, I don't think the next game will be Plat 2. Probably two games from now, is my guess. Now, it's important for me to say that uh, it can be hard to set up these power shots for you. And something that's very important is using your ball cam, but being comfortable with fast turns uh, while keeping ball cam on. So I'll try to show you what I mean by that. So like right here, going on the wall and then fast turning on the wall like that. So what you just saw, that's what I mean. I'm just gonna put this to the side here. Okay, that should be an empty net if I can catch up to it. Right here, like I can take my time. Like if I went for a shot right away, especially if you're in plat, like you might just throw away this opportunity if you take it up the wall. Um, but I saw that he was nowhere in sight, you know? So it's, it's okay to take your time sometimes. All right, so yeah, quick turns. I'm talking about like, if you go up on the wall like this, you should be, able, you should be comfortable turning around like that. Oh no, did he just score on me because of that? Oh, he did. Okay. But yeah, that's what I mean. Hopefully that makes sense. You should be comfortable doing that, like going up the wall and then doing a quick turn. And a quick turn, you make it just by holding, not holding, but just tapping the power slide button as you're turning. It's like I turn and then I tap the power slide like that. And then you can even do like a quick 360 by tapping the power slide and then reversing. A little bit advanced, but you know, you know what I mean. I have a I have a video explaining that. I forgot what it was called, but okay, right here I can just take a shot. Hopefully that's in. Okay, nice. You know, we'll hit him with the thanks. Alright, do a normal kickoff here, nothing too fancy, just something consistent. And look at that, it's a safe kickoff. Now we got the boost. I could set up a power shot for myself. And okay, he did save it, but now he's kind of out of the play. So I can, yeah, that was pretty simple. Even though that power shot didn't go in, it still put him in an awkward spot after. So that's the reason I was able to score that. All right, once again, simple kickoff, simple but consistent. I'm gonna flip right away to get the boost. And I'm going back because I saw he was right there. So I'll let him attack. Shadowing here, shadowing, shadowing. And look at that, easy. Power shot. I think I might have missed that. I did miss it. But, you know, it doesn't matter. We get the rebound. And yeah, it's... Like, at this rank, it... Uh, how do I put this? It, it The gameplay becomes faster. But at the same time, the way to win is just by being more consistent with your fundamentals but at a faster speed so like even though even though at this rank a lot of you are probably like told to practice air dribbles or you kind of have the mentality that you need to practice air dribbles what you actually need is to be better at the fundamentals which are hard control and strong power shots oh nice we did make it up to plat two. Hell oh yeah all right, dude, we have only gone up against console players. Like, wh where are my PC players at, man? You know what? Let me, oh, I can't turn it off yet. All right, next game, I'm going to turn it off. Nothing against the console players, you know, but it's just more fun when, when it's on PC. All right, so I kind of stuck with him there because I thought he was going to turn on it. Right here, I'm just shadowing him. I know that wasn't a threat because he was taking it too wide. And that's also not really a threat because he messed up the flick. Now I get an open net. So yeah, at this rank, it's more about like seeing, waiting for your opponent to make mistakes. Honestly, you could you could ride out that theory up until diamond. Like waiting for your opponents to make mistakes, and then you know just scoring based off of them. So right there, that was just a bad kickoff by him, and. Yeah, I got a good bounce and was able to score. So let me see if I can get another good kickoff. Just a simple front flip, front flip again. We did win. This guy, I think, has some pretty weird kickoffs. 
Either that or he's trying to fast kick off and it's not working for him. Oh, he's not. I don't think he's even flipping during it. You know what? I kind of want to see. Yeah, he's not even flipping towards the kickoff. So that's that's probably why he keeps losing. So if you're like that guy, you should definitely be flipping at first into your kickoffs. So I would suggest, you know, watching like a kickoff video, something like that. Because look, yeah, <laughs> that was actually a sick redirect though. Oh, and he left. Yeah, that guy really needs to work on his kickoffs because most of the goals I scored were just based on his kickoffs. So yeah, ones can be pretty hard because it highlights every aspect of Rocket League for you and why you suck at every aspect, you know? Like, if you're playing twos or threes, uh, it's it's harder for you to notice that you have bad kickoffs or that you have, like, something specifically you need to work on. But ones will show that to you very clearly. So, like, for that guy, that's kind of an issue which is understanding where your opponent is like right there he definitely should have fake challenged because uh it was i was much closer to the ball than he was so he should have known i was gonna beat him all right that seems to be an issue with kickoffs again just needs more work let's see. oh i don't think he's flipping into it okay i want to watch him again yeah he's not flipping into it like that that was the same as the last guy. You guys need to flip into your kickoffs. Alright. Once again, a strong power shot is gonna do it. And I don't know, this plat is a little questionable. The last two plats I feel like should definitely be better. Oh, he flipped this time. And he did get a better kickoff because of it. But if you notice, I flipped back immediately after my kickoff. And that's why I was able to save it. Uh, let's see if that worked. It almost worked. Now, I'm not going to commit to that shot because I saw he was pretty close. That's why I didn't jump there and I just turned back right away. You don't want to do that all the time, but like if you're unsure about a challenge or about who's going to win, then you can do what I just did over there. Um, let's see what he does. Uh, okay, that was a pretty good opportunity, but the shot was a little weak. I just hit him with a power shot here again. And yep, once again, the fundamentals are goaded. If you learn the fundamentals, you will rank up. It's simple as that. If you're stuck in plat, it is very, very simple. Learn the fundamentals, get better at the fundamentals. And you know, there's no way that you're not going to rank up. So if you never play ones, it's definitely important for you to play ones because it's going to highlight your mistakes, show you what you suck at. And once you know what you suck at, you can work to improve it. And it'll help a lot too if you like play ones, but also save your replays and watch them later. That way you can see how dumb you look. <laughs> That's usually what happens when I do it. Like I watch my own replays. And I just noticed how much of an idiot I look like, you know? And yeah, it helps It helps a lot, honestly, with ranking up. Like, this is not a threat. He's not going to score it. <laughs> wow, he did score it. Oh, wow. Look, I'm not even lying. When I tell you I had zero confidence in him, I truly had zero confidence in that shot. But surprisingly, he scored it. But you know what? As long as you're consistent with your own gameplay like it's fine if you give one of those up because chances are you're gonna get more chances are he's not gonna get more I'm gonna just put it to the left oh wow okay I made him own goal that was a little mean yeah actually what happened here was that oh yeah I did oh that was that was a little mean that was half of an half half an accident, half on purpose. All right, let me guess. Gonna win the kickoff. So if you notice, right after the kickoff, I'm immediately flipping. That's something that's pretty important, um, and that depends on on what you're doing too. Like if you win the kickoff, 
then you immediately want to flip to take control of the ball oh wow this guy's getting mad he thinks i'm that bad when i'm up six goals okay you already know what that is <laughs> you know you know what that means i just gotta demo him more all right <laughs> if he's gonna say i'm that bad bro i'm up six goals like how is he gonna say that All right, well, now I'm just, all I'm gonna do is try to demo him. <laughs> this has just turned into a, a demo. Um, all right, but you know, as you guys know, I'm not very good at demos. But yeah, I guess, I guess this is how Platt is, right? Platts get pretty mad, huh? You know, let me try to be toxic here, okay? I'm gonna try to demo him more because if you're toxic here then you know I'm gonna I'm gonna be toxic back oh no he's typing this is why it's more fun to play with PC players get better at control kid uh, what I really don't understand is how you could say something like that when you're losing by like five goals like that really doesn't make sense to me all right Like, it really, it really baffles my mind how you can say something like that when you're losing by so many goals. Like, I, it doesn't make sense to me, honestly, but, you know, once again, plat doesn't really make sense either. <laughs> He's what is saving himself? That's interesting. Let me just hit him with another shot. All right, I'll, I'll wait for him to get back. You know, why not? <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> I don't, I guess this is how Platt is. He says he's better than me, but he's losing by, um, what is that? Six goals? Kind of uh, some interesting thought process going on there. Got to hit him with a nice shot after that. I'm going to just be as toxic as possible. Just try to defend his shots and then hit him with a nice shot. Oh, okay, that was a good that was a good flick. I'll give it to him. <laughs> of course he spams what a save. Let me ask him. I'm genuinely curious how he thinks this. Okay, that was the worst time to mess up a kickoff. But let, let's see what he answers to this. Because honestly, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, he's typing. Because you always get the easiest goals when I'm not back at my goal box. Bro, he calls it a goal box? How are you going to talk shit to me and call it a goal box? <laughs> Alright, you cannot... <laughs> you cannot be toxic when you're calling it a goal box. That does not make any sense. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You know, I'll, I'll play this guy again if that's what it takes. Ah, uh, just classic Platt, huh? Platt is just the best. The mentality of a Platt to lose by like five goals and then say that your opponent sucks, you know? It, it doesn't, doesn't click. I don't get it. If somebody beats you, you know that's you know why they beat you because they're better than you. But you know it's it's plat, so 
Bound to happen. Alright, let's see. Uh, this guy is as toxic as the last guy. You know, I'm, I'm okay with the little toxicity. It's It can be fun. Alright, so right there, just uh, once again, the fundamentals. I'm just getting a bounce dribble going. So a little tap, another tap, and then a strong air shot. That's all it takes, really. If I had to narrow it down to one thing for Platt, it's probably learning bounce dribbles instead of normal dribbles on top of your car. Because bounce dribbles usually, like, it's usually easier to score a goal. Especially here at Platt. Okay, so he left it. I don't know why he left the ball right there. Let's, let's watch this again. So he hit it out. He should have stayed at least trying to challenge the ball, you know? But he just went back straight to defend, which is a very, very bad spot to defend. Alright, uh, so I landed on my wheels, and then I turned back right away. So right here, I'm on the wall. I can tap it off. Alright, looks like he went for it. So, once again, this is what I was talking about. You get a bounce dribble going. Okay, he challenged. He didn't let me show. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to teach the plats here. All right, let me, let me try to do this again. All right, just get a bounce dribble going. Okay, sir. I was in the middle of something. That's very rude of you. Very rude of you, sir. How are you going to do that and then get faked? When I wasn't even trying to fake him. I wasn't even trying to fake him. I was just trying to wait for him to give me some space. All right. Uh, basic kickoff and a half flip to go back and I'm shadowing him I didn't go for the corner boost there because it was kind of risky all right I should have space now get a bounce going and then on the on the bounce you can hit it he was right there so you know it didn't turn into a goal okay but right here I have the bounce I just hit a strong power shot and that's it he did save it but because of that, he was in a bad spot. I could demo him. And now it's an open net. All right. Once again, basic kickoff. Landing on my wheels. Flipping to the boost right away. And now I can shadow him. And I know he doesn't have boost. So that's why I kind of challenge right away. So I tap it down to get a bounce. Once I get the bounce, I can hit a shot. That's all you need. You know, he did save it. But um, it was a good shot still. And if you keep doing that, eventually he's not going to save all of them. So I tried it again there, but it wasn't on target. All right, he's not going for this, so I think I can beat him. Yeah, he just kind of stayed in his net right there. And I was close enough to where I knew if I went, I would beat him. Yeah, pretty simple. All right, I'm going to take this to the corner over here. So that's something small but very important. I won the kickoff. I landed on my wheels, and then I flipped into it so I could keep possession. And I flipped the ball into uh, the corner boost. That way I could have possession. All right, so I'm going to go up the wall here, and I'm going to kind of follow his movements. And I'm just going to wait. No wait. I can jump off now. All right. Maybe I can get a bounce going here. All right. Got the bounce, and look at that. So, yeah, if I had to say one thing for the plats, you need to learn bounce dribbles because it's it's honestly OP. It is pretty OP. All right, so I won the kickoff. Well, I didn't win, but, you know, I landed on my wheels, and I'm flipping right away. You know, I'm not wasting any time. That's actually a pretty common mistake. By a lot of ranks, you know, and I only say that because I noticed myself that I was doing that, you know, at, at Grand Champion. So, if I was doing it at that level, then, you know, a lot of you are going to be doing that same thing at this level. And it's a pretty small detail, but it can make a difference. And if, you, if we want to get really technical here, the reason it made a difference for me is because when you flip immediately... It reminds you to play faster and to make decisions faster. 
So even if it doesn't really affect the initial kickoff, just the fact that it reminds you to make decisions faster can make the rest of the game go in your favor. If that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to try to get a bounce going again. and I got a nice bounce. So I hit a shot, and look at that. Just like that, another goal. We're up 8-0 at this point. Just all of these goals. I'm pretty sure, like, all of these goals have just been from power shots. All right, I'm going to try to show this to you again. After a kickoff, you flip into it, land on your wheels, and I'm flipping right away. I didn't waste any time. I'm flipping right away to get this boost. And, yeah, even if it does nothing for you initially, it promotes better gameplay the rest of the game. All right, I think I missed that open net. I did. That is quite embarrassing. All right, so I'm just going to shadow him here. I'm going to continue to shadow, take his boost, take his boost again. And I know he has no boost, so he's either going to turn back or make a really bad shot on net. All right. I'm just going to let him have this again. And look, if I continue to let him have it, he's just going to make a very bad shot. Put himself in a bad position, which I'll be able to score on. So yeah, you can kind of like bait your opponents like that in a way. Like you're baiting them into making bad moves. So like I knew he didn't have boost, so I wanted to bait him into continue attacking. That way I could, you know put a shot on the net and he wouldn't be able to, to save it all right we did miss that one I'm gonna shadow him again I'll just wait for a shot okay he didn't have a shot so that's fine try another power shot it would have worked if I was got to it faster okay he missed and you know I'll just try something here you know uh, since this is the last game I'll try something a little oh, I'm out of boost Okay, oops. Oh well, at least we won. Let's see what it put us at. Probably plat two div three, I think at this point. Yes, yes, let's go plat two div three. All right, well that's gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed and all you plats watching this can learn a new technique. Hopefully watching this helped you to win some more games and to get better. Point is, learn bounce dribbles, learn the fundamentals, bounce dribbles, and powerful shots. That's the way to go. That's all you need to do. That's it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.